so today we are going to deal with the topic muscle culture so before that uh, we was know the difference between uh, the three bivalves they are the muscles clams and oysters so this this is the clams and these clams are also bivalves they are seen embedded in the mud they are not they don't have any attachment uh, structures to you know, finally attach to these any hard substrate and instead they are seen embedded in the mud uh, as we have uh, we have here the villorita cyprinoids the black clam and uh, other um, marine uh, clams other which are edible too and uh, about the other uh, second category of bivalve is the oysters these are the oysters these oysters are two kinds they are edible oysters are the and pearl oysters are the uh, these bivalves are seen attached to hard substrata like coral reefs uh, rocks wood wood uh, materials etc and even on the surface of boats and ships through their cementing uh, glands so they have got a cementing gland which produce some uh, white uh, material which make them or make them capable of attachment to this substrata so this is how these oysters are attached to the substrata you can see it is attached to rocks using these cementing glands and the final category is the muscles so these are the muscles this is the brown muscle the muscles are bivalves which are attached to the substrata which are also seen attached to substrata uh, using bisel threads so these bisel threads uh, make them Attach. this is the bisel threads so these are the bisel threads which are fiber like structures and through which they attach to the hard substrata so these are so these three characteristics uh, actually differentiate these three bivalves from each other then coming to the muscles the muscles are uh, there are two uh, majorly there are two kinds of muscles other there uh, that is the green muscle and the brown muscle this is the green muscle green muscle is known as the perna viridis and uh, which which was earlier named as mitilus viridis but uh, later it was been it has been reported that this mitilus viridis is been seen only in european countries which is uh, different from the what is the species which is seen in india so it is been renamed as perna viridis so this is the perna viridis or the indian green mussel and uh, which is uh, having a beautiful peacock blue color coloration and which is having a wide distribution both in uh, east and west coast of india and uh, in the east coast it is the small birds are seen in chilka lake vishagapatnam kakinada madras pondicherry katlur etc and uh, on the east coast and on the west coast we can see in uh, kerala koilon alappi cochin calicut to kasaragod and uh, from bangalore karwar goa but batia creek malwar ratnagiri and gulf of kutch in gujarat so it is highly distributed or widely distributed species and this is the brown mussel this brown mussel is uh, not attractive like uh, green mussel and it is having a restricted distribution which is seen in uh, southwest coast from wakala near koilon to kanyakumari and from there to tiruchendu in the southeast coast so that is about the distribution and coming to the exploitation uh, kerala is called the mussel fishery zone because we have got a wide stretch of uh, mussel um, uh, resources in both in north as well as south states Uh, south uh, districts and um, uh, the mussels are usually exploited during april september to april and uh, coming to the culture techniques so about the culture ones uh, the culture techniques uh, usually these mussels uh, are cultured in fa- um, in uh, not in uh, labs usually they are cultured in uh, uh, open waters 
so open waters are selected the areas which are strong which are free